We're opening every 2006 tin ever made. What's up guys, we're back with another epic tin opening. We're opening every single 2006 tin ever made. It's gonna be awesome. I forgot how incredible the 2006 tins were. I honestly only knew the Cyber Dragon. I couldn't remember what the other five were. You guys are gonna freak out when you see these. So the first one we have is Elemental Hero Neo. So as you know, this is actually open, but the guy I bought these from said that his son, I believe, acts like ripped open the plastic or whatever. So inside the packs are sealed and the promo is good to go. The rest of them are sealed. This one was just the one that was open. So I figured he, I bought two from him. Uh, I figured let's just do the open one because we're gonna open it anyway. And uh, yeah, let's check out, oh, we're not actually gonna open it yet, but I'll show you guys the epic promos later. We then have Elemental Hero Shining Flare Wingman. Yeah, a whole tin. I honestly thought this was 2007 for some reason, but it's not. Oh my goodness, absolutely amazing. Then we have my personal favorite, one of my favorite tins of all time, the Cyber Dragon. We have opened one of these on the channel. It's the only 2006 tin we've ever opened. So this is uh, this is actually really cool to get to open another one. I'm really excited. Then we have, this one will give away the next three. We have Uriah, Lord of Searing Flames. We have... Come on, Lord of Striking Thunder. And finally, we have Raviel, Lord of Phantasm. So all of the sacred beasts are in tins, which is so cool. Could you imagine if the God Cards had a tin back in the day? It would have been insane. So these are really awesome tins. I can't wait to open them. We have a lot of cool GX packs like Cybernetic Revolution inside. This should be a really cool opening. Also, if you guys did not see the video yesterday, worth it or not, go check it out and let me know if we should continue the series and do that more often. Let's get into this giveaway. We are giving away. Another first edition Dawn of Majesty booster box this is the last one I have loose. So all you have to do, like this video, be subscribed. Let me know your favorite 10 from 2006. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Like for me, it's Cyber Dragon, but there are so many good options. I bet there's going to be a ton of different opinions. I could see each 10 being a different person's favorite because they're just so many good ones. Without further ado, let's get started. This is going to be a long video. So grab your popcorn, put your feet up, enjoy it. It's going to be awesome. And I want to remind you guys next Saturday. So this is Sunday, six days from now every special edition opening even longer video like movie length so get ready for that it's going to be crazy so i'm going to give you guys a quick tin opening i hadn't even announced this this is like a surprise for you guys i might announce it on instagram so that's or maybe twitter as well so like a few hours ahead of time so not really very much notice but let's check out this elemental hero promo you guys know how it is with promos i like how they added this plastic though in I believe 2004, it's really helped. But these are actually really hard to open sometimes. Elemental Hero Neos, this is actually the highest rarity Neos ever. Because he started as a common, you guys know, in Power of the Duelist. And then they gave him a secret rare and they never gave him an ulti or anything. That is an absolutely beautiful card. Check that out. Oh my goodness, that is awesome. I hope these promos are minty, guys. This is really, really sweet. Okay, so inside we have some pretty amazing packs. Wow, guys. Cybernetic Revolution, Elemental Energy, another Cybernetic Revolution, First Edition Shadow of Infinity, that's really cool, and Enemy of Justice, so five epic GX packs. We get to open those six different times, so that's pretty exciting. Okay, guys, let's get into this five packs right here. We're going to start off with the Cybernetic Revolution, because we have two of them, so we might as well. This is pretty exciting. So I don't know if these are hobby or retail, but either way, we can get the Bubble Man if it's retail, Ultimate Rare which would be an amazing pull. We could obviously pull Cyber Dragon. That would be incredible. Even a super rare would be awesome. The ultimate rare would just be absolutely insane. Somebody is very loud outside. All right, Fusion Recovery. We've got a Gyroid. Okay, I remember that card. Death Frog with a five-star 19. I think he's actually okay. Spiritual Wind Art, Mihyabi. And... Ooh, a Sky Scraper. We are starting off with a super rare right off the bat. We got a Tadpole and Patroid. That is cool, an Elemental Hero card. I love to see that. The Skyscraper, super rare. Oh, we dropped it. All right, I did a little reorganizing so we can uh, make sure we have enough room, but we, ha we have the, the enemy of the channel, Enemy of Justice, a very old enemy. A lot of you guys won't even know what I'm talking about, but we tried to find the ultimate rare Shining Phoenix Enforcer through nine first edition hobby boxes, and we did not get it. It was pretty unfortunate. It was even worse than the Stardust. It wasn't worse than the Stardust because we opened more boxes, but it's old, so they were more expensive. <laughs> Swift Birdman Joe. Herald of Greenlight. Okay, we got a rare. Sometimes these heralds are worth a little bit. E-Emergency Call I know is worth a couple of bucks, so that might be an okay pack. All right, let's try the Elemental Energy. This is first edition, so we're maybe going to save that for the end this time. Oh, yeah, this one is very... Uh, it feels a lot different on this one. Oh, 
It's already opened, okay. Maybe this one was opened or something like that, which is possible. I'm, or else it was cut open. I'm not sure. Some weird stuff's going to happen on this open one, but that's okay. Dark deal. We got the Oja Magic. Infernal Incinerator. And a Chthonian Soldier. That one possibly could have been open since, you know, the tin was open. Um, but that, I believe, is the only open pack. Yeah, okay. That's why it felt like that. Cybernetic Revolution. Can we pull Cyber Dragon, guys? That's the goal. Even a super rare would be really, really cool. Ultimate rare, we're just going to like pass out. It's going to be insane. Giant Kazaki. We got Arrival of Pierce. Fusion Recovery. Gyroid. And System Down. We got a rare Pot of Generosity. Uh, you know, the pot cards. The Soitsu. Everybody loves these. I mean, let's check him out. Apparently, totally unreliable. He wonders if he has incredible potential. <laughs> Apparently, totally <laughs> unreliable. That's hilarious. Okay. First edition Shadow of Infinity. Okay. First edition. Sacred Beast cards. Guys. Oh, that ripped really weird. Sacred Beast cards. Let's go. That would be crazy. Even though we have the promos. I mean, the ult even the Ultra Rares would be crazy. We got the Death Frog. Chain Thrasher. Elemental Hero. Neo Bubble Man. So we got the Bubble Man, but not the regular one. Disciple of the Forbidden Spell. And a Princess Picaru. Okay, we're starting off. And Eater Eating Ant, okay. With a 1 out of 5 10s, pretty normal for the 10s. You know, they're not great ratios, but we have 5 more 10s. Let's see what we can get. Next up, we have the Elemental Hero, Shining Flare Wingman, the legend himself. Wow, this is a really cool, really cool 10. I mean, this promo is just amazing looking. All these promos look so good. Like, I am a huge fan of this year in terms of the promos and the 10s. They're just really awesome. Let's see how it looks. Okay, first actual sealed 10. We have a elemental here. I mean, that promo looked good. So it looks like uh, the last one, at least. So hopefully that gives us hope here. Hopefully that gives us hope. Hmm. A lot of hope there. This is not opening well. There we go. Okay. Here's the promo. Elemental Hero Shining Flare Wingman. It does have the uh, lowered name, which is actually really common on the Shining Flare Wingman for some reason on this promo. Wow. It looks pretty clean, though. It looks pretty clean. That's that's a good start. Already a good start to the 10. You guys are going to have to let me know in the comments what was the best 10 in terms of pulls, with the promo included, all that stuff. Let me know what your favorite 10 was um, in general, and then, of course, what the best pulls were from each 10. Okay, let's get our packs out. Let's see if the packs are the same. Okay, this one's unlimited, and this one is unlimited. Interesting. Wait, it's a different set of packs. That's weird. Okay, wait a second. Was one of these a European set and another one not? Okay, so this is interesting. So if you look at the back, first launch collectible tins, this is the Neos tin, two Cybernetic Revolution, Elemental Energy, and Shadow of Infinity, and Energy of Justice. So you have two Cybernetic Revolution. But then if you look at the Shining Flare Wingman, you have second launch, one Cybernetic Revolution, one Elemental Energy, one Shadow, one Enemy of Justice, and one Power of the Duelist. So that is interesting. So the first launch is gonna give you two Cybernetic Revolution, which is better. Um, and the second launch is going to give you a Power of the Duelist instead, which is very wild. That's crazy. Okay, I, I think we prefer the first launch because one, it had a first edition pack in it, and then two, it had two Cybernetic Revolutions. So we're going to see. Um, I guess we're going to find out. Let's just start with the Power of the Duelist and see what we can pull. That is interesting to see. Synthetic Seraphim. I don't think they did that until 2006, so that's kind of weird. Black Terror. We got the Orbital orb orb Bombardment. <laughs> Rescue Roid. And... Cosmic Horror Gangiel. Okay, we got the Blade Master and Brainwashing Beam. All right, let's try the Enemy of Justice, the Enemy of the Channel. Can we pull the Shining Phoenix Enforcer Ultimate Rare? <laughs> Even Unlimited, I'd take it at this point. I would take it. We have an Icarus Attack, a pretty good card, actually. Royal Knight. Storming Wind. Guard Dog. And a Miraculous Descent. It's just a rare Shattered Axe. Another E-Emergency Call. That's a very good card. It's actually pretty valuable for a common. All right, let's try the uh, Shadow Infinity is not first edition this time. We're going to try this one. Let's see. We have a uh, Tinkabido Shien, Machine King Prototype, Jun Super Junior Confrontation, Ancient Gear Drill, and Princess Curran, Hero Kid, and Success Probability Zero. Not looking too good. Our success probability is not good so far. We have one foil. Elemental Energy up next. Can we get something big here? Can we get the Shining Flare Wingman? Can we get the Rampart Blaster? Can we get the Elemental Hero Tempest? Anything crazy like that? 
VW Tiger Catapult. Let's go. Weed out. We got the injection fairy lily on there. Bonding H2O. Reborn the zombie. Oh, wrong thing. Okay. Oh, VW XYZ Dragon Catapult Cannon. I thought that that was going to be an elemental hero, guys. That would have been crazy. Okay. We have a VW XYZ Dragon Catapult Cannon. I can't say that. That is a mouthful. But we've got a super. We will take it. Then we got the Nano Breaker. Um, League of Uniform. <laughs> the League of Treaty of La. The League of Uniform Nomenclature. The struggle is real. Final pack of the second 10. So far, the pulls have not been great, guys. Can we get something good? I just want a Cyber Dragon, guys. I just want a Cyber Dragon. I don't care if it's unlimited, super rare, whatever. We got the Doitsu. Very cool. We already got his, the Green Brother. We have the Giant Kazaki. Arrival appears. Fusion Recovery. And. Fire darts, Jerry Beans, man, all oh, the legends in here. Wow, Dragon's Mirror. Okay, that's actually a pretty good card, I think. Okay, Jerry Beans, man, legendary. All right, we have four tens left. I'm going to save the Cyber Dragon for the end because it's my favorite. Let's see what wave this is going to be. This is a first launch. So we're going to get two Cybernetic. This is interesting how they're all... Okay, there's a second launch. I'm going to check all these real quick. Second launch and a first launch. So it looks like three were first launch, three were second launch. That is interesting to say the least okay i mean it's definitely interesting i didn't know that that was a thing so that's actually kind of cool let's open this up this hurts guys these are such beautiful tins oh my goodness such beautiful tins we are ruining them but you know what that's what we do we open stuff up but sometimes it it still hurts because these are some of the best looking tins honestly these things were shockingly i did not know how awesome these tins were, like really were 2006 really hit it good even though this was the year i quit but uh yeah okay check out the raviel raviel sounds like ravioli or something here we go promo is oh my goodness check that centering out guys it is not pretty but that card was very pretty a little dot on the back but that's okay this will be perfect for the binder you know the promo binder wave one time let's get these cybernetic revolution packs up let's see if we have another first edition that means we have first edition in here too wow the first wave is just way better 10 number three, guys, the uh, the much better version. Let's start off with Enemy of Justice. This is going to be a good one. Can we pull something epic, guys? Let's go. H, Heated Heart. Very nice. Avalanching Asa. Dimensional Fissure. Pretty good card. Cyber Kieran. And come on, guys. Guard penalty. All right. We got um, Jake Paul out there. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> Celestial transformation. All right. Let's go into a cybernetic revolution. We do have two of them. So let's see. Cyber and dragon, cyber dragon. Come on. Come on, guys. I'm down. I've never pulled a cyber in. I'm pretty sure we did we pull a cyber dragon when we opened. I don't think we did pull a cyber dragon out of the box, even the super rare. Giant Kazaki. We got cyber twin, I think. Imbo Indomitable fighter Lele. Tyranno Infinity. I made a deck with that in Duel Links at one point. That was fun. Kurenai. And Fire Darts again. Jerry Beans, man. Yes. We got another one. For a Bean Soldier, believes he is the strongest warrior in the world. But his true abilities are still untested. So, uh, yeah. Three more packs. Elemental Energy. Well, three more packs until three more tins after this. But, you know. Three more packs in this tin. So far... No foils. We only have two total on the video. All right. Bonding H2O. They are tins. Pretty rough ratios. Reborn zombie. Actually, they're random. So it could be good. Could be bad. Oxy, get on. Scar. Scout of Dark World. And what is up with the trap rares? Come on. Familiar Possess Asa and Featherwind. A lot of familiar possess. I mean, a lot of trap uh, rares. That's our first familiar possess. Actually, actually, it's probably not. Let's go into the first edition pack, guys. First edition, Shadow of Infinity. We gotta believe that we can pull something good. We got a Magnet Circle level two. Elemental Hero, Neo Bubble Man. Hero Heart. Next to be lost and Princess Garon. Why is it always the same card? Sand Moss, Symbol of Heritage, and Samsara. Okay. Okay, guys. <sighs> one more pack in this tin. We are over four so far on this one. Come on, Cybernetic Revolution. Redeem us. Redeem us, please. We have Fusion Recovery, I believe. Let's do this. Ultimate Rare. Doitsu, again. 
Death croaky. We got some singing frogs here. The mechanical hound. That guy's actually pretty strong. Um, well, 2800. I mean, I don't know if he's like, he's still not great. It's too tribute, but. Is this a joke? Skyscraper again? Oh my goodness. We're pulling all the same stuff. We're pulling the same supers. The same rares. This is really weird. Battery Man C and, oh, a Soy 2. I mean, can't complain about doubles of him. Okay, guys. So far, three supers. Not the best. We just got to believe, though. So we've had some great 10 openings and some bad. So far, we've had three pretty poor ones. We got three left to redeem ourselves. You got to believe. Let's do this. The Hamon. Lord of Striking Thunder. Let's get it open. The promos have been really nice, though, which I am very thankful for, because those are like the coolest possible cards you can get here. So I am not really uh, complaining about that. The Lord of Striking Thunder. All right. Come on, Lord of Striking Thunder. Got a little bit of, uh, you know, something on there, but pretty nice. Just a little warped, but we will take that. This will be perfect for the binder, guys. Perfect for the promo binder. All right, we get our packs out. We've got this is a wave tour, so uh, we're going to get uh, Power of the Duelist on this one. We need some luck here, guys. We need some luck. Power of the Duelist has some really cool cards. If we could pull an ulti. We have not pulled an ulti yet. Come on. Hopefully, we'll get like one or two ultis in this. Definitely one, hopefully. All right, Destiny here, Fearmonger. We got the Via Croid Connection Zone, Fossil Excavation, Alien Gray, and Cyclone Blade, Black Stego, Fake Hero. Fake Heroes, man. Those are the worst. Okay, let's keep going. Enemy of Justice, guys. Enemy of Justice, do you believe that we can do this? All right, you got to let me know in the comments, guys, that you believe. Let me know, because we're going to need it. We're going to need some luck here. We've got a power capsule. Swift Birdman Joe. Eight sheeted heart. Destiny hero, Captain Tenacious, and... Hero Flash Rare. We got a couple of heroes there. Necroid Shaman and the Hero Mariner. Battery Man D and our Righteous Dust. <laughs> Justice. Okay, 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 okay. We've been, it's been rough. It's been rough. These GX packs tend to do this. All we need is one big pull, guys. We need one big pull to make up for it. We've got the Beals Frog. Saber Beetle. Full Salvo. Magnus Circle Level 2. And another Trap Rare. Why do they do this to us? Attack Reflector Unit. I used to have that in my deck because I love Cyber Dragons. Two more packs in this tin. We're on to the fourth 10. So far, we have three super rares. We don't have an ultra. But ultras are actually harder to pull than ulti. So not having an ulti or an ultra is pretty rough. Um, but yeah, let's go. Let's do it right here. Oxy get on. Elemental energy pack. Non-fusion area. The level modulation. Familiar possess area. King's Knight is just a rare Zer Knight and branch. Final pack of this 10. Of the fourth out of six. So... Yeah, this is this is pretty rough. Okay. We have Cybernetic Revolution Pack. Arrival appears. We have not pulled a foil in this tin yet. Protective Soul Aline. Giant Kazaki. Indomitable Fighter Lele. Will it be the next card? Come on. Rottweiler, just a rare another Soitsu. And Pot of Generosity. Oh, it's been rough so far, guys. All right, guys. Two more tins left. Uriah. This is a cool one. This is a very cool one. Hopefully, this is a nice promo because this card looks absolutely sick. Let me know in the comments. Sacred Beasts or God Cards? Which one do you prefer? Sacred Beasts or God Cards? I know you guys have a strong opinion about it one way or another. Just let me know now. I want to hear it. Okay. Let's go. Is this a Wave 1? or I think this is a Wave 2 as well, right? Let's see. Oh, this has got a lowered name as well. So I guess this is just a 2016 thing. Uh, let's get this out. Okay, very nice. Uriah with the lowered name. Oh my goodness. That is a pretty, pretty card. That is amazing, guys. Absolutely amazing. That looks so good. All right, let's get our packs out. And let's go into it. The second to last 10. This is a wave two. Our final one will be a wave one. Here we go. Here we go. D Spirit. Flying Saucer. Musik. Elemental Hero Neos. Very cool. 
Just the comments. They did him. They did him dirty. To be honest, we got a wonder garage. And a Neo Space and Aqua Dolphin. We're starting this one off right. It's a super rare. It's not crazy, but it's a super rare. Okay, four supers. We have four foils the whole opening. This is still better than 2003 when we went one for 29 to start. So it's a little better than that. Uh, not much better, but a little bit better. Okay, and that one ended really well. So we're hoping that we can end it like that one as well. That would be pretty nice. Elemental. What is it? No, not elemental. <laughs> Enemy of Justice. What am I talking about? A Cheated Heart. Avalanching Asa, Dimensional Fissure. We got the Cyber Kieran. And here we go. Ultimate Rare Majestic Mech Oka. And this looks like a Euro print. I'm pretty sure these are Euro prints in because of the uh, Soul, the Shadow of Infinity pack. I have the weird crimps. But look at that amazing texture. Majestic Mech Oka. Is this a rare? I think it's a regular rare. So does that mean these are retail? I'm not totally sure. Either way, we finally got an ultimate rare pull. Okay, this is a good 10 so far. We've got an ultimate rare and a super rare. Majestic Mech Oka. That is really pretty looking. I really like that. The rest of the pack, 2-2. Two, two. All right, Justice and Raging Area. Okay. All right, feeling a little better now. Feeling reinvigorated. Can the Shadow of Infinity include an ultra rare Sacred Beast? That would be one to turn it around. Okay, the promos have been nice. We've got an ultra rare. We've got supers. We're doing okay. Let's get an ultra rare here and make it really, really nice. We got the Samsara. Disciple of the Forbidden Spell. Generation Shift and... Ooh, a Ruin Queen of Oblivion and a DD guy. This is actually a good card. Okay, another super. This is three for three on this 10, guys. Three for three on this 10. That's pretty good. And then DD Guide is also a pretty nice card as well. So pretty good common. We've got the Success Probability, the Neo Bubble, and the... Parasitic Tiki. Tricky. Tricky. Tiki. Tiki. Yeah, Tiki. Three for three on this 10. We have as many foils in this 10 as we did the entire other three tens, which is insane. Or four tens. Other four tens. That's nuts. Okay, Elemental Energy. A lot of great pulls in here in terms of collecting, not necessarily playing. This is not a great set for playing, but I mean, it's 2006. Nobody's playing with this anymore. All right, here we go. Scar. Reborn Zombie. Let's go. Oxy get on. Can we go four for four? Familiar Possess Area. Let's go. Cyberblader, what a troll. I thought it was an elemental hero. Oh, a Cyberblader, but we're still four for four. The streak is alive. The dream continues. We could go five for five right now. More foils in this 110 than there were in the rest of the opening. That's insane. Okay, it has been all supers besides the ultimate rare, but that's okay. One more pack. Can it end on a foil? I would take a super here. Cyber Dragon, please. Or Cyber Twin Dragon would be cool. Cyber and Dragon Ultra Rare. Okay. I mean, obviously, if we can get the ultis, we will take those as well. I mean, way more take those. We would love those. Steamroid. The Mad Lobster. The Lobster's angry. We've got a Tyranno Infinity. Spiritual Fire Art. Karenai. All right, let's see if we can decide what it is. It's a trap. Oh, no. Three Fire Darts. How is that possible? And I... Oh, three Fire Darts. Still, four for five. Good ten. That's not bad. Final 10. My favorite of the six. Cyber Dragon. I know a lot of you guys like this one the best as well. I mean, just an amazing 10. This is also a wave one 10. So that is really, really, really cool. Uh, a lot of reallys there, but this is a really cool 10. I had two of these back in the day. I thought the promo was epic. Obviously, Cyber Dragon is just absolutely amazing as a card. Um, was super good back then. Still even somewhat played today. Not really, but... Um, I think there are Cyber Dragon decks that actually run the original Cyber Dragon, probably mostly because they need it to actually use the other cards, but still cool that I can actually see it be in a deck. Cyber Dragon, the original, the OG Cyber Dragon promo. Come on, let's get this out of here. Be nice, be nice, come on, be nice. The one I actually opened before was really nice, so let's see if this one can be nice as well. A little bit off-centered, but uh, Secret Rare is very tough to see on this one. It's not coming through very well. Um, really good condition though. That's going to be perfect for the, uh, promo binder, which is pretty, uh, pretty cool. Honestly, I really like these 10 promos. They're some of my favorites. Cyber Dragon's just the best. Okay. Let's get our last set of packs out guys. Last set of packs out. Final 10 opening. This is our last chance at an ultimate rare, a cool, uh, ultra rare, you know, some, something epic. So let's hope that we can do it here. We got the wave one. So we've got multiple cybernetic revolution. Last five packs of the opening. Hasn't been overly good, but it has also gotten a lot better after that last 10. So let's see. Can we get one more ultimate rare? That's what I would hope. That would be ratio. 
Well, it's two and a half, actually, so we need to get one more to be close. Royal Knight. Cyber Kieran. We've got the Layar the Liberator. All right, he's kind of cool looking. Power Capsule. And it is a rare Majestic Mech Oka. There it is. Okay, we got the Senku and a Doom Lord. All right, that's okay. Not the best pack out of the out of the five. So let's uh, continue on. That's a first edition. Let's try one Cybernetic Revolution. Come on. Change the opening. Make it epic. Cyber Dragon. Cyber End Dragon. Cyber Twin Dragon. Just love the Cyber Dragons. Let's go. We've got a Death Frog. Spiritual Wind Art. Miyabi. Psychroid. Indomitable Fighter Lele. And... Cybernetic Magician. It is a cyber, but it's the Magician. Okay, it's a super rare. We can't complain. Oh, so close. Okay, we got the Drillroid. That's a cool card. Jerry Beans has made his way three different times. Very good. Let's go into the Elemental Energy. Let's leave the first edition and the Cybernetic Revolution for last. Let's go. 30 packs of GX, guys. They can be rough. They can be rough. You guys have seen our GX videos. They're either hit or miss big time. The Forces of Darkness. We got the Non-Fusion Area. Level Modulation. Oxy Get On. And... A Feather Shot. Okay, it's well Cyber and Chthonium Palmer. Last two packs. Let's go with the Unlimited, and then we'll save Shadow Infinity for the end. Come on, Cyber Dragon. Come on, Cyber Dragon. Let's go. We have... A gyroid. Very cool. Okay, not very cool, but somewhat cool. Protective soul. <laughs> De oh, the singing frogs. Death croaking. Mechanical hound. And another trap rare. Jerry Beans, man. Literally. He is the mascot of this video for sure. Pot of generosity and steam gyroid. It all comes down to this. The final pack. We've only pulled one ulti. No ultras. Not the best opening so far. So we are hoping that this can change it. Can we pull something big here? Something big in the final pack of Shadow Infinity First Edition from the Cyber Dragon Tin. Let's go. Okay, well, there's some Cyber Dragon stuff. The Cyber Barrier Dragon, Cyber Laser Dragon. Um, we've got a. This is not coming out well. We've got the. Uh, I believe the. Uh, what's he called? The Cyber. Uh, it's like the Proto Cyber. Yeah, I think he's in here. DD Guy. That's a good card. Okay, Ancient Gear. Super Junior Confrontation. Disciple the Forbidden Spell. Here we go. Our final chance. Like button for luck, guys. Here we go. Cyber Barrier Dragon. I, I mentioned it. It's a Cyber Dragon. We're taking that as a final pack magic. First edition Super Rare. I am happy with it. Not bad. This was a video for Super Rares. So appropriate to end on a Super Rare. That's a really cool card. I used to have this Ultimate Rare in my deck um, back in, you know, sixth grade or whatever. So, okay. Not bad. Not bad. We got a Sam Sarah, Parasitic Tricky, and Full Salvo. All right, guys. So from the 610s, we did get... We got two E-Emergency Call. We got two DD Guide. We got a Cyber Barrier. Pretty cool. Cybernetic Re Magician. Aqua. We got the Ruin. Cyber Blader. VWXYZ Dragon Catapult Cannon. The two Skyscrapers. And an Ultimate Rare Majestic Deck Mech Oka. The only real high rarity card, which is crazy. And then, of course, the promos, which actually probably have most of the value that we actually open. But those are some of the coolest cards. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, subscribe for more epic Yu-Gi-Oh! openings because... That was a big L, but that was a lot of fun. I really like these tins, and we have the every special edition opening coming in just six days from when you're seeing this. It's going to be insane. I can't wait to do that Retro Pack 1, Retro Pack 2, Invasion of Chaos Special Edition, all those epic things like Ultimate Edition 1, Forbidden Legacy 1. It's going to be so cool. It's going to be a long video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this long video. Prepare for that movie next weekend, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!